scheduled for 12. Donaire against the tall and lanky Matabula. See if Matabula could stay disciplined and use that jab. Donaire jumps in and lunges with the left. Moving around and staying away, didn't want to engage. Donaire just missed with that left cross. Matapula is now back and straight up, which is not good. Well, when Donaire closes the gap, he negates the height advantage for Matabula. And that's what uh, Nemico has to do. Just get close to him and put those big punches on him. And try you know, he's, he's doing VADA, volunteer uh, testing for performance enhancers year-round, Donaire. He's, uh, he's volunteered for it. Dropping his hands in front of a taller opponent. I don't love that, Roy. He jumped he's in with enough respect in boxing in a hurry when you do stuff like that. <laughs> Not no need to. He's good enough, I think, that he can overcome this kid just like he's doing. Good combination and a good hook to the body. Finished it off for Matabula. Well, he's throwing that home run hook though there is. <laughs> Matabula's throwing a pretty good punch himself, though. Trade inside. He's not afraid to trade with Armelito. That's surprising to me. Donaire with a left hand with Matabula against the ropes. I don't love what, Ma what, what Donaire is doing there, Roy. He's really loading up on the hook, hoping to end it early, it looks like to me. I don't love it, but he survived these next two or three rounds. It seems that he gets stronger in the second half of the fight. That's when we're starting to find out what's really going to happen. But it's like you said, they go through one heck of a curling process to get to the United States and to be able to fight on American TV. That's right. If you see them on American TV, it means they can fight. Combination from Matabula. Right hand was blocked by Donaire. End of round three. Two rounds to one, Nonito Donaire. Now, I got to tell you something. This fight, you, you gotta measure how many jabs the mongoose has to land to offset one wallop that Nonito Donaire lands, and who did more damage? I, I mean, I thought around two and he threw over a hundred punches. He, you know, he did more than the mongoose, but from Matabulu's nose, Donaire has caught Matabulu. Really paid for it yet, Roy? But. Sometimes these guys get in those exchanges and they throw some shots and Donaire's putting himself in unnecessary risk. Go! Left hand drops Matabula! Maybe not when you can punch like that. <laughs> Cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Come to me. All right. Matabula's up. First down in his career. He's been down on the canvas. A left hand near the end of round four. Holy s***. Here you see... The Filipino flash dip inside with a hook, wham, right over the top of Matabula's right hand. A beautiful, well-placed left hook. Once again, he blocks the shot, boom, right on the jaw, a beautiful left hook. He was right looking for that shot. Good uppercut from Donaire. Fires off a right and a left. Be effective against larger fighters, and I suppose in many respects, it, ooh, good right hand from Matabula. Rangier fighter as a pressure. Oh, good left hand by Donaire. And he fires does sneak a hard punch down the pipe every now and then. Right, right hand, hand, hand from Donaire. Like that. Great right hand by Matabula just did. Not a bigger man in the ring to be increasingly shorter here. Left hand by Matabula cuts the face of Donaire. Donaire steps back in with a power shot of his own. Pretty good round, the kind of fight that he's used to. You know, he's got to do a lot of work just to get in the right range. Yes, he does, but this is what he wanted. This is what he asked for. So, of course, he's not. And he's taking away most of Donaire's heavy left hooks. And his height allows him to be out of the way of the left hook a lot quicker than most people would be. So the jab goes further than the left hook would travel. And the round self. So if he's going to win the fight, his jab is his best punch, like right there. He was throwing it and it enabled him to land. Forehead, 
Left eye swelling. The last round, right when he gets started, that jab makes him stop. Sometimes a good stiff jab can neutralize. And there goes Donaire looking for a home run left hook. Got hit by about eight shots. Hey. Each man putting his 122-pound belt on the line. Off and being very, very busy. But remember, at the end of round seven, Nonito Dene was complaining in his corner that his leg fell asleep. The risk of him is to get stronger later in the fight. Oh, good shot. Good uppercut. Fight close on Harold Letterman's scorecard. Going. Well, I thought Matabula won the round. <laughs> Me too. I, I think Donaire lucked out a little bit that it was a short round. He shoot close. Gennady Golovkin is out there at middleweight. Fight guys like that every fight. See what happens when he uses his jab. Not really throwing a punch for like the last 30 seconds. Just that right here. May have broken his nose or something. Y'all have had some big rounds, but this round, this 12th round, could determine this fight. Matabula's not even punching anymore. It's uh, bell rings. This oh, right Good hand. Right. And Matabula is has landed some real good shots here. Left hand by Donaire to the head of Matabula. Steps in with the right. I thought uh, Lolito pulled it out in that last round. Donaire says, bring it on. Fires a couple of power shots. That's how it ends. How do the judges have it scored? Let's find out from our ring announcer, Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds here at the Home Depot Center, we go to the official scorecard. Judge Davis scores it 117 to 110. Judge Morrow, 118 to 109. And Judge Duarte scores it 119 to 108. For the winner, by way of unanimous decision, and now the unified WBO and IBF Super Battleway Champion of the World, the Filipino flag.